Hey there, this is Don McStraw from the McStraw Method. So in this video, we're gonna to talk to you today about an important topic that's called the facts. You see, for the most part, most of us, myself included, any clients, your friends, your neighbors, your family members, what we all have in our life that is unique to each one of us is our own facts. So the facts about who we are, what we are, where we are, and why we're here. So the same thing applies when it comes to your health and fitness. So if you are today a person who is bigger than you expect yourself to be, if you are not as fit, if you are a person who is fit and wants to take your performance to the next level, then all of that stuff relates to your facts and the problems that we have is that we tend to ignore them. So what I'm gonna do over the next couple of minutes is talk to you about a series of facts and why it's important for us to understand them. Understanding our facts is important. So let's start with a couple of little one-liners and then I'll explain each one as I go. So do not allow the weight of your emotion to swallow you up. And what do I mean by that? So the facts are this. We get emotional, we get worked up, and we let that sink into our head when things are not going the way that we want them to go. So that weight of that emotion, it drags us down. And that leads us into number two. So when you get stuck, it gets harder if you let that weight of all the emotion that we talked about before bog you down. So again, the example here is this. You're doing something, you keep plugging along at it. It might be that you're doing the workout and then it's three times last week, it's two times this week, you know next week's gonna be busy and the weight of all your emotions starts to get you down. I'm not gonna get there, I'm not gonna get there, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna keep on time. The thing is, don't let it get to you. You just deal with what it is. The facts are the facts, it is what it is. You need to understand that and you need to embrace it. It's no different than me doing this video and you hear the dogs barking in the background. It is what it is. I've got to deal with it. Number three, part of understanding our facts and getting through that and starting to understand it is learning to work on building your confidence, building your self-esteem. That inner strength that comes from that, that actually helps you become stronger comes you be strong, stronger physically, stronger mentally. But again, that is all built on the facts of where you are today. Okay, next point. Facts drive you. Your number one must that you need to do with your facts is committing to them. Commit to them to you, to where you are today, to what's going on in your life, and not the opinions of others. Not the opinions of others, particularly if they've got no freaking idea about where you are. If they've never been where you are, if they've never felt like that, if they've never been overweight, they've always been, let's call it skinny, if they've always had it in control, if they've always had someone gift them their shit, then deal with your facts, commit to your facts. Their opinion, that stuff does not matter. Facts are guideposts. We have a path, we will navigate that path. It will not be a straight freaking road. Your facts, they are the guideposts. It's a bit like going bowling for the first time. Don't know how to do it? Bring out the bumper lanes. The bumper lanes are your facts. The facts are you can't bowl straight. The facts are you hook the ball. You shank the ball to the side. We get the analogy, your facts, they are your guideposts that you will use on your path as you move forward. Facts 
They give you a starting point. They say to you, you are here. You're not there and they don't care where you were six months ago. They don't care will you will be nine months from now. What they are, they are facts for today. They will help you identify what areas of improvement. So, it may be that I'm starting to feel a little bit tight on the clothes. The facts are telling me, hey, I've maybe not necessarily put on weight, but I'm maybe not as toned as I once was. They may tell me that, hey, I'm maybe not sleeping as much. I may be stressed and therefore the hormone in my body called cortisol is through the roof. And that puts my body into a state of shock and my body starts to hold on to the energy stores. So if I'm stressed, my cortisol levels are high, I'm gonna struggle to lose the weight. I'm gonna struggle to be mentally sharp. The facts tell me that. The facts will also tell you what's broken. What's missing? And therefore, they'll help you set up a path to work out how to go about fixing that. So let's talk food. Look in your bin. Look in your recycling bin. What are the facts telling you? It's full of lolly wrappers. It's full of takeaway containers. It's full of pizza boxes. Where's the fresh shavings from the last time you grated a carrot? or when you cut up a zucchini or a capsicum, have you made your home salad? And I'm not, this isn't advocating going vegan or not eating good food or food that you enjoy, but look in the bin, the facts are there. When was the last time you drank four liters of water in a day? The fact should be, you should have a drink bottle. It should be with you all the time. And if it's not, the facts are telling you, you're not doing what you know you should do. Now here at the McStraw Method, we coach a little principle that we called the daily 2%. 2%, it's 30 minutes, 30 minutes in every day. Your facts, when you understand them, what we advocate for those who are starting off, who are trying to restore, reset, they've been here before, they want to be here again, we talk about taking 2% forward every day. One step forward, two steps back, two steps forward, one step back. That is still one step forward. So the facts will let you know if you take that little step, that little 2% every day, you are still moving forward. Now one of the things that I suppose grates people a lot is this. Facts don't lie. They don't BS, they don't make excuses, they don't make stories. They're facts. Most of them are inanimate. The fact is, I'm eating crap. The fact is, I'm not getting enough exercise during the day. The fact is, I'm spending too much BS time scrolling through Netflix, doing this up and down on my phone, and I'm doing that before I go to bed, and suddenly I'm wired and then I'm getting shit sleep and then I'm waking up in the morning and I've got poor quality sleep. They are all the facts. You see, facts don't lie. We lie. I lie. You lie. You lie. You make up stories. Those stories develop into excuses why you didn't do this or because of that. At the end of the day, you are still in control. And like it or not, it's a simple decision that you make. Others can influence that decision, but the facts are, you make up the stories, you make up the excuses, you don't do the work, you haven't accepted the facts. So one of the key things, as we said here, is fact. There's a couple of points there. And for some of them, we've sort of elaborated a little tiny bit. It's not nice to hear it. Some of you are probably going to go, screw this guy, swipe, get out of it, not interested. But until you accept your facts, you are never going to understand where the hell you are at 
Yes, there's been some past history, but you're never gonna be able to set yourself up for where you wanna be. So your goal might be to look better, feel great, sexy AF, look good naked, whatever, whatever you wanna throw at it. Me, I just wanna perform. I wanna get up, I wanna sleep well, I wanna enjoy time with my dogs, my kids, my family. I wanna work out, I wanna push myself. Now, my version of pushing myself might be different than yours, but that's okay. But you should have a goal. You should have a path. You should want to get up off of your ass and do something about it. But you only do that when you have your facts. I'm Don McStraw, this is a McStraw Method. We coach a little program called The Daily 2%. If any of this has resonated with you, there will be a link at the bottom of this video, on this advert, whatever, wherever you're seeing this, there'll be a link. Click on the link. It'll bring you to the information that we do when we coach people to get through their facts and move themselves forward onto the new path, their next version of themselves. And that might only be 2% better, but you know what? It's still 2% better. Later.